So, you've probably tried to speak in public before. And even though you wanted to do it well, well, your body just had different plans. Maybe your palms got all sweaty, maybe you started trembling, and maybe your face turned all red. But don't worry, by the end of this video, this won't happen again. In fact, after watching this video, you might even love public speaking. So, here are the three exercises you could do to beat speech anxiety. First exercise, the shake off. In the 1970s, Dr. Peter Levine analyzed animals in the wild to understand how they respond to trauma and stress. For that, they looked at an antelope. What would happen to the antelope after being chased by a lion? Would they exhibit some sort of stress, some sort of nervous behavior, some sort of trauma? If any one of us was chased by a lion, we'd probably be traumatized for the rest of our lives. I would probably never leave my house again. This is not what happened with the antelopes. Here's what happened instead. See, the antelope was shaking. After shaking for some time, the antelope just got up, went back to his herd and started grazing as if nothing had happened. No trauma at all. Now, how was that possible? Dr. Levine found that animals in the wild have this coping mechanism that any time that they experience some sort of stress or trauma, they start shaking their entire body. They start shivering, trembling, shaking their entire body to let go of the stress. Now, what do we humans do to let go of stress? Well, we do nothing, right? We just suck it up. But at the end, we have the same coping mechanisms as animals in the wild. So the next time you find yourself very nervous before a speech or a presentation. Just start shaking your entire body for two or three minutes. Start shaking your arms, rotate your shoulders, start kicking your legs. Go as physical as possible. If anyone were to see you, they should think that the devil had taken control of you. Now, releasing the stress is a powerful technique, but another very effective technique is to reframe it. Next exercise, the reframe. In my coaching calls, my clients often ask me, hey, Philip, uh, can't you help me get rid of my nerves? And every time I'm like, mm, no, I don't think so. Unless you're a total sociopath, you will have these feelings. Now, every single speaker that I know still gets nervous when speaking in front of an audience that matters. It doesn't matter how experienced they are. Feeling nervous is completely natural. Don't try to fight it. Think of nerves like waves in the ocean. You can't stop them, but you can learn how to serve them. How can you do that? By doing a simple but powerful reframe. In 2014, Harvard Business School professor Alison Wood Brooks found that participants who reframed their anxiety as excitement performed significantly better in any of the tests. They performed better in karaoke, they were perceived as more confident speakers, and they even scored higher in math tests, only by reframing their anxiety into excitement. So the next time you feel anxious, instead of telling yourself, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so anxious, tell yourself, I'm excited. Do that a few times and you'll start feeling significantly more confident. Now, this technique is a powerful reframe and it helps you a lot. But sometimes when the fear takes over, you might need that next technique as well. Next exercise, the doom visualization. In May 2022, I was invited to give a TED talk in the Netherlands. And even though I was excited because this has been one of my dreams, I was also terrified, right? I thought, what if I forgot what I wanted to say? What if I turn completely red? Or what if, I don't know, my PowerPoint stops working? Very quickly, I just went down this downward spiral. In my despair, I called my best friend Damien to uh, tell him a little bit and ask his advice. So as he heard me crying, he interrupted me and he asked me, so Philip, what's the, what's the worst thing that could happen? And I'm like, mm, I don't know, maybe forgetting what I wanted to say. He said, no, 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 what's the really, what's the worst thing that could happen? And I was like, hmm. What? The worst thing that could happen if I poop my pants on stage. I mean, that would be terrible, right? That would be the worst thing I could think of. He said, perfect. 
Now, now go into the details, right? Visualize, imagine that happening. Imagine yourself pooing yourself on stage. But not only pooing yourself, but also see how you react on that. And imagine how it turns out, how you own that and how you deliver a beautiful talk. <laughs> that day, Damien taught me a doom visualization. A visualization where you imagine your fears coming true. After doing that visualizations for a few days, I realized that, yeah, it would kind of suck, right? I would still hate it, but that I could live with that, right? I could handle that. Well, a couple of days later, when I gave my talk in front of hundreds of people, I felt very confident, right? Because I was prepared for the worst scenario. In fact, when I gave my talk, my talk was selected out of hundreds of other talks as editors picked by the global TED organization. So next time you have a speech or presentation coming up, you can do the same. Do a doom visualization. Imagine the worst thing that could happen and then go deep in this one. See this it happening on stage, but then also how you deal with that, right? How you embrace it, how you overcome that problem and how you give an incredible talk. It's a powerful visualization. That's it. Those are my three fixes to overcome speech anxiety. Those hacks, they're incredibly powerful in the short term, but they won't help you build this long lasting confidence. For that, you may want to check out this next video. In this video, I'm going to share how to become a confident public speaker fast. Enjoy.